Okay, so today I'm going to show you inside of Easy Peasy Math Step 1. Um, this is the offline version. So this is um, the math workbook for the student, and this is your parent's guide. Um, both of these together um, cost under $20. I think I paid $9.99 for this one on Amazon, and it's about $7 for this one. Um, which is pretty great for a math curriculum, which you can do their online version for free, but if you like um, to have the workbook in hand, then their offline version is a really great alternative. All right, so let's look inside of the workbook. This has the about the workbook, how to use the workbook, and where to find the answer key, which all the answer keys are in the parent's guide table of contents and it's divided out um, into topic all right and this is one of their only math um, programs at least that I've been through that goes to lesson 139 instead of 180 because um, most of them are divided into 180 days um, but this one is kind of a work at your own pace. The first good portion of it is review. It starts very basic with basic addition, um, and then it moves through a little bit um, harder things towards towards the end. You'll be um, working the middle to end. You'll be working on things that. Um, you may have not been introduced to yet. Um, but I feel like it's very thorough with the topics um, in each lesson. Um, we have actually not used the offline version yet, but we have used the online version. My son just finished the online version of step one. And this version, um, the offline version, is supposed to take the place of using videos um, and activities that you do online. So all of the lessons are a front with your directions um, and a back with practice. So these could be divided into like a couple days if your child needs extra time to work on them. But I'd suggest at the beginning trying to move through like one lesson a day um, or maybe even more if your child is ready for it, um, and they just breeze through these, which most likely they will because, um, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the stuff at the beginning is really simple, um, for a fifth grader. So, but once you hit some of the, um, further lessons, they might, um, like exponents and things that maybe they haven't been introduced to yet. Um, then they might have more time to spend on um, things like that and you might be able to do um, one, one side one day and the next side the next day or divide it by sections um, if you need to take even longer on that. Um, but if your child knows, that, knows it, then I would move through the lesson, the full lesson and practice each day. And some, my, like I said, my son, he used it online. He went through it really fast. And anything that he knew, we went through at least one and sometimes even two lessons a day. Um, and he, he did finish early. We are about two weeks away from um, the end of our school year. And he finished his math, I'd say, about a week, maybe two weeks ago. So he did finish early um, with this math, but um, that's why this is so great. You can move, I mean, homeschooling's great because you can move at your own pace and however, however slow or however fast you need to move. Um, but we really like step one. It's really thorough. Um, I feel like it covers a lot um, of for fifth grade. That's just my opinion. Um, 
but I, we haven't been disappointed with it. We we were using Matthew C before, and we came over to um, Easy Peasy Math this year for my older students. Um, my youngest one has been using uh, Matthew C for at, at least two years now. So, um, coming from Matthew C, I would say that Easy Peasy Math is definitely a little more thorough with different um, topics um, because um, Matthew C does stick on one topic per year. I feel like there's not a lot of um, review back on some of the former topics and they maybe um, don't touch some of the topics that I feel like maybe they need refreshed on every year. So this is really good about that. Um, I guess it could be considered a, a spiral curriculum. Let's see. Alright, so inside of the parent's guide, we have... Um, oops, sorry. Okay, an introduction here just basically tells you um, about the curriculum and how to use it. And um, these um, lessons, each lesson has its own page with the answer sheets. Um, and then you have uh, your little segment here for the teacher Um for each lesson. Some are shorter, some are longer. Um, examples of problems are given, um, which a lot of this at the beginning is really basic and you may not even need um, to refer to the teacher's manual. But I do um, think that the teacher's manual is necessary, especially as you get further on into um, the program. I really feel like it's it's necessary. So, all right. So that's pretty much how the parents' guide looks and how the workbook looks. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, this is a really affordable curriculum. We have not been disappointed in it. Um, and we definitely, my kids have really enjoyed it. And they're they're looking forward to doing this again. Um, my daughter is the one who's going to be using this offline version. And I, I really wish that step two was available in an offline version. And I hope it is by the time she gets around to being in step two. Um... But as for step two, they don't have it available yet, so we'll be using the online version for that. Um, but I will try to make a video telling you about step two um, whenever we're finished using that. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about step one, easy peasy math step one, either the online or the offline version, um, you can leave it in the comments, and I'll try to uh, get back with you pretty quickly. Um, I think that's all I was going to say about this. So, um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my page. Thanks.